I'm gonna show you how to do pinup makeup today, but first I'm gonna start with the clean face with Ashley. So what I like to do first is always use a primer. Now I'm just doing a nice clean primer so the skin feels nice and smooth. Not too heavy, half a dime size is enough for primer. You can always use your fingers and just feel it out. And what a primer does is it mainly keeps the foundation on for many hours and it also sets the makeup nicely. And then the same brush, I'll blend a foundation. I always like to start around the bridge of the nose. Then I'll take a sponge, this is a beauty sponge, it's really great to get into the little corners. And I'll blend it, blend it, blend it. Make sure the color is right. People always ask me, what color foundation do you use? You always try to choose a foundation slightly darker than the skin. Not exact, just a slight shade darker, just to warm up the face. And as you can see, Ashley looks a little tired today, Ashley. So what I'm gonna do is first throw a little foundation, close your eyes, all around the eye. And we'll get her with concealer before and after because the pinup look has a really nice matte finish. So it's nice to use a lot of matte colors. And like I said, I'm gonna blend with my beauty sponge. And not to worry about any little bumps or flaws, you'll get that at the end. But as you can see, I'm making her face very matte and I am going a little heavy on the foundation. The pinup look does tend to go a little heavy. Get a little on the neck, give her a little color. And even if you're not really good at doing foundation, if you get one of these and just blend it, blend it, blend it, it really evens out the foundation nicely, besides the foundation brush. I like to take a little loose powder and use a finishing brush that has a little bit of the little hairs, you see that you funny little hairs at the end? What it does is it's just doing it lightly. And what it's doing is it's setting the foundation, but not making it cakey looking. I'll show you one eye, a little concealer brush. Sometimes I take the finger and I smoothen it out. People always ask me, do you use concealer before, after? A lot of times you could do it before, but nine out of 10 times you're gonna have to do it again because you'll see it doesn't always cover the first time. Concealer is the one thing that you use to hide all the flaws at the end. So even if you put your foundation on, you're still gonna see something. Whether it's a acne zit or your dark circle, something's going to come out. And this is the one thing I love the most, is just keep blending, blending, blending. And now her face is ready to start the pinup makeup. 